Starman Podcast. Hello and welcome to another Starman Talk to Talks. I am your host, Devin. With me is Billy. Woo! Cody. Hey, everybody. And David. Greetings to everyone. And guys, we're going to talk earworms for right off the bat. It's like, song stuck in your head right now. <laughs> oh, you're putting us on the spot now, okay. huh? Oh, right off the head of the gate, sir. All right, then. <laughs> Bill's looking at me like a stunned puppy. <laughs> Random country music. Random country music just pops in your head. Yeah. Usually just random bullshit tunes. Okay, you gotta be yes. more specific than that. Well, well, okay, um, Frere Jacques, Jacques comes to mind the most often. Yeah, I, I, we often catch you like just humming that for no reason. Yeah, yeah. no, and often, oftentimes you need to stop. Yes. Yeah, and it still keeps going. Yeah. I know what Devin's thinking right now. Don't stop! Don't stop! Where are we Actually, going? no, I was not. Oh, that was an earworm for a little while, but apparently, I, I got over it just the other day. Okay. <laughs> All right, then, Brilliant City. No, yeah. I only sing that in the car just because it's funny. Okay. In my head. <laughs> oh, that's how it is. Huh? <laughs> All right then. You know, like getting in behind the wheel of the car driving and be like, we're on the road to Peridian City. <laughs> I don't know. And be in they like, you don't know this guy. Yeah, but we you're just, stuck in the car with me, so yeah, ha ha. Yeah, yeah. We just do a hitchhiker he picked up. <laughs> Alright, I'm out. <laughs> just drop it at the car. <laughs> <laughs> I guess for me, the odd anime song, I guess. Yeah. The, uh, they're, they're kind of designed to be like that. Yeah. <laughs> I get randomly uh, boss music stuck in my head at times. Oh, yeah, game music pops into my head, too. Yeah. Like, on occasion, the Smithy fight from Super Mario RPG. <laughs> what song from Mario RPG doesn't pop in your head? There's actually quite a few. Like, I only know that in the forest theme. All right. What about the, in the uh, fight, normal fight music? Yeah, but what about the eerie, that eerie one that usually plays when one of Smithy's members is around? Actually, no, I know. Do, 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 oh, do, that do. one. I st- I don't know that theme off by heart. I just remember the scene. There. <laughs> they just keep spinning. <laughs> Boy, I love creepiness in the game. Especially a game you wouldn't expect creepiness in, like a Mario game. I know, that's what makes it <laughs> all the more memorable. So, what's the normal battle tune again? No, that's like a boss fight. What am I thinking? Yep, there we go. There we go. Yeah, that's the one. Billy is zoned us out. You have fun over there in the corner. <laughs> yeah, they're talking about being Amy's like I'm Amy. Yeah. <laughs> what you, you have to admit though it's more memorable than most songs. Uh, no, I'll, I'll miss. I don't I'm not usually one to remember lyrics, mostly the beat. Yeah. So to speak. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dragon Ball made it <laughs> probably made a living out of that. What, making the song memorable? Yeah. Yeah? Dragon, dragon, catch the dragon. dragon. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I guess it could be worse. <laughs> yeah. I know, dragon. How long did it take you to make that? About five minutes. <laughs> oh, I, was, I was like, how the hell did you know that theme? No, it's probably common. Even if you weren't into Dragon Ball, yeah. you would have heard that somewhere. Yeah. Welcome to the channel. What? Welcome to the channels. Yeah. <laughs> what was it that drew us into that? Because 
Yeah, I flip through the channels and you hear that theme song, but it's also like all the imagery. You're like, what the heck is this thing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's fighting. They're fighting. There's air, like they're shooting these energy beams from their hands. There's a giant monkey. <laughs> Some guy tearing through airplanes. Yeah, some guy tears through the airplane. I want to know more about this mysterious world and what the hell's going on. <laughs> and that's how Devin got into Dragon Ball. <laughs> I thought you were just flipping channels and saw the animation and you're like, yeah. wow. Yeah, that's literally what happened. Devin was like, pretty colors. <laughs> Oh, I was watching explosions and guys shooting explosions from their hands. Yeah, no. I was like, that looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, you put a show with fighting in it, usually kids are gonna fall all over it. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> it's simple plot. It's good guy versus bad guy. It's yep. nothing complex. No. <laughs> Goku fights the evil forces of Vegeta, Frieza, Cell, Monkey. <laughs> Other Monkey but Golden. <laughs> I feel like that's actually happened. Oh yeah, no, that's GT in a nutshell. <laughs> golden Monkey. Yeah, giant Golden Monkey form. <laughs> that sounds dirty. <laughs> I can't be the only one who's channel surfed and got hooked into a show because they were channel surfing. Mm-hmm. I, I want to say I did, I just can't remember. Mm-hmm. It's got to happen more than you think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I totally agree with that. I mean, when you're bored and you're yearning for something to watch. Yeah, you're like looking for and then I, that guy just punched that guy. What's this all about? <laughs> I want to know their story. Yeah. That guy's woman was taking her top off. I'm stopping for a moment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess technically that's how I got into reboot. Even though it never happened, but okay. Yeah. Oh, flipping channels. Yeah, I I we, I know where you were trying to be at, but the last thing I said. Did not roll up with what you just followed up with. Yeah. yeah. You were a few steps behind there, sir. My brain doesn't work right now. Does it ever? The best. Right now is not how you say always. Yeah. <laughs> Never is probably a better response. Yeah. I don't know, I usually learn, when I was young, I usually learned shows from my siblings, or... Oddly enough, I learned about Beast Wars through, like, the news. Weird. Newspaper. <laughs> it's like, wait. Yeah, I think that was how it was. <laughs> no matter, it was channel surfing. <laughs> we come from the decade where, like, internet wasn't a thing, and yeah. school was your only word of mouth, so kids were watching something... Y'all learned from school what everyone was watching, then you checked it out. Yeah. yeah. Which scarily is not much different from that in today. Yeah. No, right? Which is now we have the internet to tell us yeah. what's popular. <laughs> and texting. Yeah. <laughs> but no, good old channel server was also another way. I always stop and watch something weird because. <laughs> I'm bored, and that just looked entertaining to me. Yeah. Okay, we we just think you have a game across channel server. Do can we keep it PG thirteen at least? Oh, <laughs> something blank diaries. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Channel surfing at night is not safe. No, no it's no. not. <laughs> I was like the channel surfing, but I was watching that. Uh, it was Velocity or WWE Confidential, and the line came up for an adult themed movie. Oh, yeah. That I know I didn't set. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not even anything bad. It's just a weird infomercial. I forget what the product no. exactly was. <laughs> but I caught myself like watching it, like, oh yeah. <laughs> I need this! I, I could use something like this in my own. It was something to do with cakes, and I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. <laughs> yeah, because you need more cakes in your life. Yeah. Well, it was like. Uh. It was some device. <laughs> That you put so you can layer your cakes properly. All right. Oh yeah. And what you do is you put this like cylinder around the cake. Mm -hmm. It's an adjustable cylinder, and then you just pour your whipped cream or yeah. the cream between the layers. Right. And it's like just a cheap thing of plastic that was going for nineteen ninety nine. That all it did was for use to put around a cake so you could put the icing on the next layer. And smooth it out perfectly. Devin wants to make the ultimate layer of cake. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know, I always have that problem. The cake's a little lopsided because I put too much icing on one side. Yeah. This solves so many problems. <laughs> this solves so many unnecessary problems I never knew I had. Good job, infomercial. You did your job. <laughs> <laughs> you never have enough knives. <laughs> Do you uh, need a knife that goes through a shoe? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can come through any of my shoes with my current knife set. Oh. That does look pretty good. <laughs> this knife can cut through metal. Oh yeah, I love the ones that are like the un indestructible knives, like they'll never dull. Yeah. He's like, you can put this through the grinder. <laughs> and it's like, it's good as new. <laughs> it's like, I don't know how much I believe you. <laughs> well, you do layers. You can put it through the grinder. Like, just puts it in. It's all beat up and gone. The one thing I remember from that is um, infomercial, like, outtakes and, like, cutoffs. Oh, yeah. Okay. And one is this guy, uh, he's got these, like, katanas. <laughs> and it's like, they're so durable, they'll never break. And he, like, smashes <laughs> them against the table. And the thing snaps and flies back and hits them. And like everyone, like the thing stops. He's like, "I'm all right. I'm all right." <laughs> <laughs> so he nearly killed himself by hitting the katana off the table. Like, <laughs> wow! There's a selling point. It's sharp as a razor, even when it's broke. <laughs> Oof! That's like you're smacking it against the table. What did you expect was gonna happen? Yeah, the table to break. <laughs> Cut through the table like you see in so many movies. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if infomercials still exist. Yeah, they still do. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's all I needed. <laughs> they prey on those people who are still watching TV late at night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we know you're out there. Oh, yeah. Actually, we know you're out there because you're not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isn't that right, Daryl? <laughs> all right, now that I've successfully scared all our reviewers named Daryl, we can move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the joys of infomercials. <laughs> no, there's like a certain time of day that they have to appear, otherwise they're ineffective. Yeah, and you smile. Sometimes it's late night, sometimes it's like... Early morning, and yeah. um, somewhere in the evening there's... Yeah. Between dinner supper times, I've seen some. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, when you're too when you're doped up, yeah, you're, like you're, you're too tired, you're too sleepy, or you're just done up a day's work, and yeah, and you don't know you don't have the energy to change the channel, and that's where they get you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like those love lines. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I'll stop. Yeah. <laughs> we, we we won't go into those. No, I wasn't planning to. <laughs> <laughs> I remember also another weird like they're so weird too like their own little worlds almost yeah. oh thousands of psychics oh yeah <laughs> come on it's Miss Cleo <laughs> Miss Cleo are you high <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I was not trying to make it the most Jamaican accent. <laughs> it sounds like you were, though. I was trying to do a Miss Cleo voice, but not to say I'm Jamaican. And it's not as easy as you think. No. no. <laughs> I should recall a lot of infomercials for blenders. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, this thing will blend anything. Yeah. Yeah. That or knives, but we already said that. Yeah, yeah <laughs> blender. <laughs> hey, that's not a really infomercial, but when you said the time of blender, first thing I thought of was the uh, SNL uh, parody, the Super Bassomatic 76. Okay, I don't know that sketch. Oh, it's. If you have a chance to see it, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Like, we can't really discuss it here because yeah. we're just stealing someone's joke at that point. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll say that. It's terrific bass. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw uh, one. It was like, my brother was into the fishing network for some stupid reason. Yeah. So I turned on the TV and I just... It was on this channel, and it was this product for, like, just, like, the reel of a fizzing rod. Yeah. It's like, it will lock in place so the fish never escapes. It shows the guy, like, he catches the fish right, and he puts the thing in lock. He puts the rod down, goes, gets a beer or something, mm -hmm. and then comes back. I was like, if you catch a fish, your excitement hits, and you will not put that rod down. There's no reason. Yeah. yeah. Because you'd have too much worry of, did the fish just break the line and it got away? Yeah. Or just rip its flush off. Yeah. <laughs> There's a fish with a Glasgow smile now. <laughs> cool. As long as it doesn't put white makeup on, I'm fine. <laughs> What's that the other fish? Why so serious? <laughs> God's carrying a knife. <laughs> This is an army of fish with <laughs> clown faces. <laughs> Those are clown Bill fish. fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, we think the same thing. Oh, we're on the same page on that one for sure. Yep. So, saw this old infomercial one time called, um, for this thing for deboning fish. Oh, the Wonder Boner. I was trying to avoid this. Oh. <laughs> that was seriously its name? Yep. <laughs> yeah, Good I've never seen that one. Not thinking of any other name. Yeah. Ah, the Wonder Boner. I bet my life will like that. Yeah. You know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, dead in my goddamn mind. <laughs> well, I think this is how the, the two names I had in mind was the Wonder Boner or the Awesome Boner. Yeah. <laughs> There's also a deboner, <laughs> which sounds also terrible. Yeah, yeah, that's a knife, isn't it? Yeah, it's just like a knife. That's a knife used to exactly take the bone right out of yeah. fish. The deboning knife. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, any knife's a deboning knife if you try hard enough. Oh God, yes. <laughs> yeah, that thing's tricky to use. <laughs> you have one? No, I. No, I just <laughs> took a cooking class one time. Oh, I mean, they, they use them. Deboning knife, yeah. Because yeah. they kind of flex. Yeah. <laughs> well, because the skin, or the fish bone is very flexible. Yeah, exactly. You should, all should have just got Wonder Boners. <laughs> You're going to make this a thing, aren't you? Trying not to, uh, but it looks like I, I, the mom has spoken. All right. <laughs> so Devin tell us what can a wonder boner do for you uh, it's Eve Bones fish that's literally all it does <laughs> but hey it works you'll remember the product name yeah wonder oh, yeah. boner <laughs> I seem to recall a lot of products having the word ninja in them. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> For some reason. Because ninja was popular in the, the 90s? Yeah. Apparently. Oh, extreme. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, the extreme. Oh, yeah. God. 
thing. How do we make something relevant again? Put the word extreme in it! Yeah. <laughs> Basically, that was our generation's epic. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I agree with you on that one. Yeah, every generation seems to have some weird buzzword they guess. Yeah. I guess product placement is doing its job. Yep. <laughs> Praise be to commercialism. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, there's another one for car wax that I remember. <laughs> because the guy takes a blowtorch to the hood of the car. Y <laughs> yes! <that> <laughs> like full on just engulfs the Put of this car. Really nice, like Ferrari or something. Yeah. I was like, you'd be, I'd be crazy to do something like this. <laughs> yes! No! I would! I would think you were super crazy if you took my blow, a blow to a car. <laughs> but I am so confident that the polish will take this out. I was like, I hope you test, didn't test this off screen and it doesn't work. <laughs> oh yeah, you'd be beaten to a pulp. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't even his car. It was like some dude's car. It was like in a bar, like car lot. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta love those ones. It's like, I'm going to destroy this and then completely restore with this wonderful product. Yeah. I was like, why would you destroy it in the first one? <laughs> <laughs> to show you the magnificence of this product. <laughs> <laughs> It was so weird. The only other, like, it was more of a commercial than a freaking infomercial, but the CLR commercial. Gets you crystal clear yeah. instantly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but that was like the most droll fucking uh, commercial I've ever seen. It's like, it had no energy at all to it. Yeah. Yeah. CLR will take out the even the toughest lime stings. Mm -hmm. I was like, can you be a little more enthusiastic about that? Yeah. <laughs> when you say drool, now I think of those Buckley commercials. It tastes awful, and, and it works. works. <laughs> like, at least you're being honest. Yeah. <laughs> that does pay. Yeah. Hey. We go live. Well, we just fell right back into the 90s. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. That was. Wasn't that for breath mints or something? That was a lozenge. Yeah. All right. So it was sore throats. Yeah. I was sore of close. Yeah, no. <laughs> breath mints, lozenge, you know, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> they help with your throats? <laughs> no. What makes, it, what makes it feel fresh? The other one helps you breathe again. <laughs> <laughs> Why has no one made a breath mint? Cough crop. Oh, <laughs> there's an idea. There's usually after I have like a cough drop or something, my freaking breath smells like cough medicine. So yeah, a minty aftertaste wouldn't really kill it. Yeah. <laughs> True. Something funny. <laughs> No, I just felt like laughing. Okay. David's slowly losing it. <laughs> what was the other one? It was like a TV that dropped out of a plane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I swear, it's either a TV screen or something. But I swear to God, there's an infomercial out there where they cut to the guy holding the product in his hand. He's in a plane, yeah. and he jumps out like he skydives with it, and then he just lets it go. And it's perfectly fine. Yeah. I was like, if I'm ever dropping your product out of a plane, I think I have more issues to worry about than said <laughs> product surviving the fall. Yeah. I think me might come to mind first. <laughs> Yeah. 
Comes with a lifetime guarantee. Mm-hmm. Or your money back. <laughs> I also love the like, installment payments. Those always get me. Oh, For yeah. five simple payments of nineteen ninety five. Wait, I'm paying a hundred for this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people go, oh, I just paid 20 bucks for it. No, no, no. Multiply that by how many months you just said. Yeah. <laughs> you're paying it gradually, but you're still paying a lot of money. Yeah. I don't like how lobbies require you to call a phone. Oh, yeah. Like the ph- phone number. Oh, yeah. This offer is not available in stores. Yeah. Gee, I wonder why. Because no store would stock it. No, yeah, because like... you're insane. Yeah. Or oh, I love the ones that are stocked in stores. It's only available at these fine retailers. Yeah. They like scroll through all the stores it's for. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I'll take that challenge. Yeah. Well, it's more like trying to figure out which store is yours. It's like I don't have a Walmart near me. Yeah. So oh. close to this. <laughs> uh, Sears, no, um, wow, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm out of luck. No store that exists in my neighborhood. Wait, Gamer's still open? <laughs> <laughs> that was the other thing, like, wait, that's still open? <laughs> oh, yeah, that the whole, oh, you see, that's so way I thought that thing closed years ago. <laughs> <laughs> And remember, this offer is limited. Yeah. There's a limited time offer of until this infomercial ends. And if you call now, I'll throw in a second one. Absolutely free! And then they keep adding to the offer. It's like, the more you wait, the more you get. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, there's more! Yes. You get... If you were now, you get the knife. You get the... <laughs> I'll also throw in Sudden Run! The suntan lotion that is also a laxative. I don't know what that's from, but... Um, Simpsons. Uh, <laughs> With Spiffy, you'll think the body's still warm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that, like, they just pile it all on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we gotta sell everything. Everything must go. Yeah. So you, or yeah, you will get the knife. You'll get two of the knives. You'll get the holding case. Yeah. You'll get my book on how much of a douchebag I am. <laughs> <laughs> how much I have more than you over the stupid because of the stupid product. Yeah. Oh, I know more than you. Yeah. <laughs> and if you order in the next three minutes, you'll watch me shove my thumb up my ass. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're talking about, it's still talking about infomercials or motivational speakers now. Oh, infomercials. Yeah. Okay. Because I felt like we were drifting to something else. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're still on infomercials. I was reminding myself of how much bold crap they had in them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they had to. They had to sell it somehow. Yeah, yeah. And make you think like you're getting a bargain, you're yeah. not. Oh, no. That's the trick of the snake oil salesman. Yeah. <laughs> but with that, that is another Talk to Talks. Oh. I am your host, Devin. Billy, dig it. Cody, peace out. Damn it, see you later. Hey, don't forget, you can come to this podcast with just well, well, these babies. I'm not selling out. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. Yet. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.